Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand examples on pointers and multidimensional arrays too. So this is our sec second example on pointers and multidimensional arrays. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched our previous video, there we have discussed our first example. The concepts that we have discussed in the previous examples are very much required for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class because it is very much related to that class. So please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of enter course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class here uh, uh, what we have done is we have created a two-dimensional array this is the two-dimensional array that we have created and here we have created a pointer pointer p and this pointer p is uh, this pointer p is assigned to an array so this is our uh, pointer p is assigned to this array now so instead of a in the previous example where we have taken it as a and instead of a we have taken this as p so is it going to get the right answer so we are we are trying to find the a of 1 comma 2 element 1 comma 2 element means this is the element that we are trying to find so are we going to get if you use this p plus 1 uh, uh, are we going to get the same value of uh, a of 1 comma 2 as we have seen in our previous example no it is going to generate an error so what does that why we are going to get that error is here here the point that you have to understand is here is here p is an integer pointer p is pointing to an integer which means p is an integer pointer okay so uh, what happens here uh, with this is p plus 1 means p is pointing here p plus 1 means it will go to this place star star of p plus 1 means it is going to be 1 so it will act like an integer it is it will not it is not going to be considered as an two dimensional array two dimensional array means p plus 1 means we have to go to this second row which we have discussed p plus 1 means second row we have to go but here it is acting like an integer because it is an integer pointer try to get that point okay so now uh, as an integer so p plus 1 means it will go to the next uh, address next address and star of p means it is 1 star of p means 1 and plus 2 plus 2 means uh, 1 plus 2 which is going to be 3 3 whole star what is there to get this so 3 whole star means we are not going into any of this there is no possibility for you to go to inside to something and get that one so this is not going to be an address right if it is an address so star is used to get the value stored in that address but here it is directly going to be an integer so it is not possible so so we are going to for that reason we are going to get an error with this kind of declarations with this kind of declarations here the declaration states that it is a pointer integer pointer make a note of that point so how to make this uh, work like a two dimensional array so let's consider this example consider this declaration so these declarations are very from here on we're going to get the examples which which uh, which by that declarations we are going to get the meaning okay and precedence table precedence table is very important for us to get the meanings of these kind of declarations so here this one is having the uh, both of them are having the same precedence and it is from left to right it is from left to right so what it states is p is a pointer left to right means from this way to this way p is a pointer p in P is a pointer which is pointing to an array of four elements means four columns see here four columns okay so which consists of integers which consists of integers so what this declaration states again try to understand that so these two are having same precedence uh, this uh, 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 square bracket and uh, uh, this uh, parenthesis is having uh, both of them are having same precedence okay so now uh, and their associativity is from left to right okay so star p states that p is a pointer 
P is a pointer pointing to an array pointing to an array of four elements so this is also so this column declaration the without this three the things will work we have discussed about these two dimensional array declarations so why the columns means whenever this kind of initializations are taken so four elements are considered as one array elements next second array next third array so we have discussed about this so it states that p is, p is a pointer which is pointing to an array of four elements four elements and those elements are of type integers now this is the exact declaration of two dimensional array so this is a pointer which is pointing to a two dimensional array this is a pointer which is pointing to an integer this is an integer pointer this is an two dimensional array pointer try to get that now p is assigned to a so now we are going to get the output same declarations see here same printf statement this is going to generate an error and same uh, this one same declarations but this is going to work perfectly fine okay so let's try to execute these two and see how the things will work uh, with that we will get uh, the complete idea whether uh, this is going to work generate an error or not that uh, we will we will try to understand that so here let's execute this uh, example this is our first example integer pointers here integer pointer compile this see here error has been generated and this is an assignment of incompatible incompatible pointer type invalid type argument of unary star have int see the error itself is stating that this entire uh, output is going to have an integer and star okay which is not possible and this is going to generate an error next example see this example same but here it is a, a pointer to a two dimensional array of four elements those elements are of type integers so now we will try to execute this compile this no errors here and now the output is six comma six which is a of one comma two a of one two okay so this this concept is very important uh, so we suggest you to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching